Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you want to save the image that you are creating for web display, then you can use the Save for Web dialog box to make sure that the image file is as small as possible without sacrificing image quality while ensuring that the format that you use will display correctly online. To view this dialog box, select File and then choose Save for Web from the menu bar. You can then use the settings available at the right side of this dialog box to determine the size and download time for the image once it is uploaded to the web. At the right, you can use the preset drop-down to select a type of preset format for your image. You can save a simple vector drawing with few colors as a GIF, and you can save more complex photography with many colors as a JPEG or PNG graphic. You can also select your own options in the area below the preset drop-down by using the settings available to create your own customized format for advanced users. Many times, however, the file that you have created in Elements is simply too large for easy download on the web. In that case, you can set a new width and height for your image by typing the value in pixels into the New Size section of the dialog box. Ensure that you've checked the Constrained Proportions link icon to the right of the Width and Height text boxes to keep your image from warping. Note that in the lower left corner of the image preview, for the current settings, you will see the format of the image, its actual file size, and below that, how long it will take to download at a given speed of internet connectivity. If you click the Options button that appears to the right, you'll see a pop-up menu where you can change the download connectivity rate, and thus the download time, to view how long it would take someone with that internet connectivity rate to download your image. You can also determine how much of the image to display within the preview window by selecting a percentage from the pop-up menu that appears in the far bottom left corner of this dialog box. When you're ready to save your graphic for the web, you can click the Save button to launch the Save Optimized As dialog box, where you can select where you want to save the optimized image file and what you want to call it. Then just click the Save button in this dialog box to save the optimized image. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.